the Bob Mills Weather Center. Meteorologist Aaron Reeves. Mixed bag of temperatures across the country today. Look at Dallas there, 98. They were ahead of the front most of the day that swept through here overnight last night and into the, the, the daytime hours today in southern Oklahoma. 88 in Tulsa, although it was a much more comfortable 88 with a lot drier air and a stout north wind. And around 80 in Kansas City and Lincoln. Really just pretty good weather once you got behind that front. Still not good though in Phoenix, 104 degrees. That's a good spot for that. Our cold front continues to chug along. It's now approaching Houston and New Orleans. We'll see how far it makes it. The high pressure is settling in. We are high and we are dry across green country right now as far as precipitation goes. Tropical Storm Ian continues to move off to the northwest and continues to strengthen, seeing a lot more convection around the core. And I would expect Expect that trend to continue as it's really in a strengthening mode right now. Winds maxed out at 60 miles per hour, so we'll continue to track that off to the northwest, eventually becoming a hurricane tomorrow. Uh, approaching the western edge of Cuba sometime uh, early Tuesday uh, into Tuesday afternoon, strengthening from a Category 2 to a Category 3 as it moves into the Gulf. And then uh, peaking at around a Category 4 strength, 130 mile per hour winds. And then the good news is it will gradually weaken as it approaches the uh, western side of Florida there. So hopefully that trend is what ends up playing out. But that's certainly what we'd like to see. Our model data that really just kind of follows right along, been very consistent with the track that we're going with. So we'll see how it plays out. All quiet downtown. It was a nice day today. 69 right now. Feels like 68. North breeze at 8. That's dying off. Dew point at 42. So the air is very, very dry and that along with the light winds and clear skies is leading to a very mixed bag of temperatures. A little warmer to the south still, mid to upper 70s. 69 in Tulsa. Look at Bartlesville though, 59. We're looking at 60 over in Fayetteville. It is really, really nice outside for the most part. And as we take a look at where we're headed overnight tonight with the clear skies once again, dry conditions, light winds, we're going to see things cool off effectively. 40s and 50s waking up tomorrow. So if that's chilly to you, you're probably going to need a sweater. Won't need it in the afternoon. It's going to be perfect. Mid 80s. Same story as we had into Tuesday morning. We'll start off 40s and 50s once again. That's going to kind of be the story all week long. Then we'll top back out in the 80s as we head into the afternoon. All in all, extremely nice. That, that's just really where we stay as we head throughout the week. The only big problem is, is we are getting awfully dry drought conditions. I basically have zilch in the rain category for us going forward. Then going on beyond that, we're talking about the first week of October. We're looking like we're going to stay drier than normal and warmer than normal, though. Keep in mind, as we get into that part of October, we're looking at those average highs being in the upper 70s. So warmer than normal could mean like 85. It may be a bit warmer, but all in all, it, hopefully that doesn't mean 90s. We'll see. A uh, little ways between now and then. 63 at midnight, 53 waking up tomorrow. Once again, some of those valleys will be off into the uh, 40s and then mid 80s tomorrow afternoon. We'll keep the 80s all week long as we head to the start of the Tulsa State Fair. The weather is looking absolutely great for that. Lows in the 50s, so nice cool mornings. Nice warm, dry afternoons with not a whole lot of humidity, so pretty nice stuff. Once again, we really could use that rain. Things are awfully dry. I don't have any hope in that category. In the meantime, we'll just wait for the rain. That's look at your forecast. Uh, let's go ahead and toss that on over to sports.